how old does the game have to be to emulate and all that? Do you keep up with it? Do you play them as they come out for emulation? Alright, I don't think there's anything else in this area, so we're going to grab our spacesuit and go into space. Let's see. Space. About to walk the lunar surface. <laughs> Nothing to get all worked up over. About to walk the lunar surface. Are there rules? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I have no idea. Like, obviously, the, the games they're just releasing on... Um, on their newest platforms, they're not going to let you emulate, right? I find I would find it hard to believe for them to not go around banning them and stuff like that. I'm, I, it's kind of a fringe thing. Obviously, it's generally illegal, right? You're not allowed to use their intellectual property and sell it or just give it for free online. That's pirating, right? But it's kind of like a thing where... It's an accepted form of pir pirating, I believe, because it's not Nintendo directly that's allowing it to be emulated. But if they wanted to, they easily could get them offline, right? Like, it wouldn't be hard to go into m most places. Obviously, if someone wanted to re upload it over and over and over again, they probably could. But there's a reason you don't see the very, very newest ones, I assume. Again, I really don't know what I'm talking about, so this is just con pure conjecture. Oh, let's make sure we have our... Alright, there we go. This is one of the most effective weapons in this area. It's really good against a lot of these guys, especially the drones. Oh no, oh gosh, he just almost fell. No, I do not know. Only download an emulator because I want to play a BM game. Gotcha. Okay. I wonder if you're allowed to stream emulators on Twitch. I bet not. I bet they I bet they ban you for it. The robots are coming after me! It's so eerie and quiet in space like this. There was a collectible like right over here, just sitting against the wall. Which was pretty interesting. Okay, so I think we jump... Oh, oh, to right there. I actually screwed this jump up last time because the difference is in gravity. There we go. Even though it's like one of the easiest jumps in the whole game. <laughs> and press the button. It also seems like a fairly time-consuming process to actually make an emulator, right? To to emulate those games, I assume you have to write a lot of new code. Again, I know nothing about what I'm talking about because I am not a coder or a developer or anything of that sort. But it does seem interesting. Wait, where? Oh, okay, so here is the missing item, the one we never got. And there is there is some form of secret passage to get in here that we're going to have to figure out. Oh, we have to take off our, our fancy spacesuit. Alright, so let's get our silenced pistol out. and carve the skin off of our arm. I like this scene. So this is his tattoo that he got at the prison camp, you know, where they brand their prisoners. Back in the camp. This woman, I know well, Lysilian, the will of fire, and the family gone, all of them yet. 
Faith, faith kept her going. I, I, I cannot believe it's that certainty. For me and everything, there must be doubt. Otherwise, there's no room to question the plan. And, gosh, this, this is place, awful. This is the fruit of unquestioned, ferocious conviction. This is where absolute certainty leads. Yet you are a believer. Uh, I often wonder what kind of a God would sanction suffering such as this, and I question myself whether my faith is misplaced. Maybe he's testing us. Well, Jim Shen, if he is testing us, we are failing gloriously. I really like the character um, of the... What's his name? I can't remember his name. The guy that's part of the Dakyu Shed, that organization. His character in general is kind of an interesting person. Okay, so this is where we need to hurry. Um, there's a secret passageway right around here. But before we go along the secret passageway, we want to try and... Oh, oh actually we missed it. Shit. Oh, actually no, I don't think we did miss it. Well, we, we missed it now. We were too slow. Damn, I really wanted to kill that guy. We actually might... Hmm. Let's check and see how close we are. Wow, we have none. This is a really great opportunity to silent kill that guy and get the perk. We're going to restart just from that last checkpoint. And walk through here fast. Through the tunnel. Okay. We're going to grab this health. Grab this health. Find the war room. Access the computer and print out the nuclear decryption keys. And then just creep up behind this guy and kill him before he walks in front of the robot. Come on. No. Uh, we actually had to knife him. I do not know. I guess you only need to rebind, for example, a B button to the example Z key on the keyboard. The hard part, I guess, is to do the emulator and not the game. Yes, I agree completely. Yeah. The rebinding, the controls and all that wouldn't be too difficult, but actually making a port that, um... There is an encryption, decryption database mainframe inside the Yeah, making the port, making the emulator would be really difficult. Access the computer and print out the... That was the Enigma piece we were missing. Hell yeah. We got it. Cool. So now there's only one collectible gold and one health upgrade. Come on. We actually might have... Because we... Ah, shit. I think we're not going to get it. I don't know if that counted. Oh, and that set the alarm off as well. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna... I'm not actually even sure if we can get this one. It seems like he's walking a little bit faster. But I have no idea. Yeah. I agree. Uh, even though I have absolutely no idea what goes into these things, some of them are kind of interesting to just think about in general. This would be a good question for an extremely large Twitch chat. <laughs> if, there were, if there were thousands of people in here, there would probably be there someone that has like, made an emulator before or something like that. Inside the war room. Find the war room. Access the computer and print out the nuclear decryption keys. All right, we might be able to get it this time. Looks like we should have it. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that should give us the perk. Not the full perk, but we got a silent takedown, which is what we were trying to do. So the reason we're here, a little background, is we're trying to take... We're trying to steal the nuclear decryption keys so that we can fire a nuclear missile from our submarine at Death's Head's compound. Death's Head is obviously the main antagonist of this entire game. He's kind of a jackass. Just a little bit. Yep, I go to Lyrics Chat and ask. <laughs> Kappa, yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe someone like Ko, I guess. 
A nice controlled large shell. Okay, so here's one of the guys we need to take down. We need to be really careful here. Oh, he's gonna see us. He's gonna see us. Okay, actually, we're good. We're good. I wonder if it's possible to take these guys down from behind. I don't think it is. Okay, so we have to throwing knife those guys. There's no way we can creep up and around and actually stab them in the back. So we need to be careful. Yeah, only 21.5k viewers. That's it. <laughs> this put us all the way back here? Dang, that kind of sucks. Okay, so we do need to probably be more careful. Only 5k, but in control. I don't know, I've seen it pretty crazy sometimes. Sometimes he gets up there. <clears throat> Alright, we're good. 10, 16. I've even seen it up at like 25, 30 yet on big releases. Okay. So here's how this is going to work. We're just going to shoot this guy. Oh, we can actually climb up here. Like that. And then, we can grab this. And kill both of these guys, hopefully. Success. Okay, grab our throwing knife. Unfortunately, that doesn't give us the perk we were looking for, but that's okay. Where are we going? Okay, so there's two collectibles in here that we've missed. I'm guessing these are both the... One is a health upgrade and one is the uh, gold that we were looking for. Which are both things that we're going to try and get. They shouldn't be in here, so we should go up. I think we're going to come up either here or right here. Looks like right, right here. And then we can walk across. Grab this one at the objective place. I wonder how we get into this B section. Doesn't look like we've ever been in there, so I think we should be able to get out, get to it from here. But yeah, in general. It's really an interesting dynamic, having a controlled chat that is large. Those are kind of the two separate types of large chats on Twitch. Oh crap, I forgot about this area. I don't like this area. Let's try and grab some health. I think there's a couple health upgrades up here. No, it doesn't look like that. Yeah, okay. We're full, oh, we're not full on armor. Okay, now we're full on armor. If we, I think we only need one more Assassination with overcharged health. We definitely couldn't have gotten that guy. Unfortunately. Yeah, Ko has good mods. Yep, that's exactly right. He actually pays his mods. They're on like full salary. His, he... Come on. I just wanted to kill these guys silently, but no. And he also has the mod days, yeah. It's crazy. He's actually a genius. The way he runs his thing is incredible. It's just like a real... It's like a real... Um, Business. Mod day, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, I know. It's really quite cool.
Okay, so that should be all of the dudes in this area. I think there may be some loot. Oh, there's not any loot in here. It's actually a couple rooms over. So let's, let's go ahead and just leave. We, Although we actually, I think we're going to run around and try and grab, grab some helmets or some armor before leaving. So I think these hounds are, I don't know if these hounds are, are actual dogs. These look like they're fully mechanical. Only the other ones, I guess, were, were dogs. There's two types. I think maybe the other ones are only in older areas or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I think that's... I think that's all we're going to be able to grab. I don't see any more armor or upgrades or anything. Oh, health. That's nice, at least. Oh, nice. Armor. Okay, perfect. Good old developers, knowing where I want armor. <laughs> I really, really hope that the new Wolfenstein is more like this game uh, and not like the Old Blood, the prequel to this. The Old Blood was good as just a shooter, but it didn't have a lot of this... Um, one, it wasn't as long. Have you seen... The NYE chart he has, and all the mini go to help out for the hurricane. Yeah, I, well, I, I haven't seen the chart. The command module is where the new generation. Oh, I think you mean shirt. Yes, I have seen that. I I interpreted the sentence. I have seen the shirt. It looks super cool. If I had the money or wanted to get a co shirt, this would be the time I would get it. Mostly if I had the money, because a co shirt would be super cool. Yeah, that's it's it's a really cool thing cuz I'm sure he knows that a lot of people like would like to have a co shirt and need a good excuse to buy one and this is definitely a good excuse to buy one. <laughs> right? Alright, we're going to try and sneak through here because I th hopefully we can grab some more overcharged health potentially. I think we only need one more kill. Yeah, we're four out of five, so if we can get one single more overcharged health stealth kill, we'll be able to suck health from people when we kill them. Which would be super cool. Whew, excuse the sniffling, I am... Still recovering from that cold just a little. Okay, wait. Hold up. Alright, so we're really close to where this next secret is, so we want to grab that. Ooh, I think this is where we meet our buddy Booby. <laughs> Booby. Probably the weirdest character in this game is Booby. He's he's just so random and case. odd. Get off this space rock. There's no overcharged cells, so we're not gonna worry about knifing these guys from behind. All right, so let's look at the map. There is a secret in this area. I think we're going to try and get it before we move on. There was also an enigma right there. But we obviously picked this one up already. They show as just little, like, ingrained pieces into whatever they were, the service they were in, if you've already grabbed them. Oh, okay, so we need to hack this to get in there. Normally, I almost never type in Twitch chat. I guess you not believe me. I guess I don't believe you what? What do you mean by that? I believe you. Or do I not believe that you never type in Twitch chat? Because <laughs> you seem to type in Twitch chat quite a lot. But it's also, you know, it depends on, it depends on the stream as well. Whew, 360. All right. Do you mean you just type in Twitch chat here? <laughs> oh, so we got another health upgrade. So we should be at one, yeah, we're at 190 health, which is good. Yeah, 
yeah, some some streams I go to, I'm very vocal in, and some streams I go to, I just like to sit back and lurk. It just depends on the streamer and the community and the environment. I try and make make it as welcoming and fun to hang out as I can here. If that's what you mean. All right, let's go ahead and grab the nuclear launch keys. It's gonna open this door right in front of us um, and printing decryption keys. Present right. us with a bunch of enemies to kill. Not a bunch, but a couple. Now get your butt back to Earth. <laughs> because you've typed a bunch of things in my chat. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Klaus is in London. He will bring you back to Berlin once you land. Come on, get off me! Yeah, no, I believe you. I'm the same way. Okay, so this is our ex exit strategy. Now the question is, so this should take us underneath here and to this new section, and then right across the way, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies in here, but we need to make sure we grab this last collectible. Well, I'm glad to have you here talking then. <laughs> Normally never in chat, yeah, I gotcha. Well, I'm even more honored than usual to have you here hanging out. Normally never in chat. Yeah, I try to have that effect on people. Not always successful, but I, d I do enjoy having people come hang out and talk. So, I'm glad to have you here doing it. And if you want to lurk, more power to you. All right. Let's grab some health. I think I'm not. I'm not sure if we. Okay, so we still need to get this last one. So let's see if we can grab a takedown on someone. No, don't look this way. Don't look this way. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Lurk. <laughs> exactly. We should be able to... Dang it, we don't have overcharged health. That's kind of annoying. That looks like maybe health over there. This guy's gonna be really easy to kill, so we can kind of look around and make sure we... Just armor. Shit. Okay, well... Sorry, buddy. Okay. Yeah, it, it's good to have someone to talk to every once in a while, so. Or it's good to talk in chat every once in a while. I would say that, that I am probably a lurker a lot of times as well. So I can I can totally relate. But maybe not as much as you are. I believe that you never type in chat. I believe you, Eakin! I do. Alright. That's strange. That's kind of... Kind of... Okay, good. It disappeared. Hmm. Alright, nothing in here. So... Oh, wait! Wait, how... Okay, so I think we're gonna come out of a vent maybe through here. Yeah, after this vent. All right, so when we're here, now we're in here and the collectible's right at the end of this area, okay. I'm gonna make sure we watch out for this. Uh, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. We really wanna find a health pack here if we can. <laughs> 